Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perambu Ministries welcomes you for Thought for the Night Devotion. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Warm greetings to you this evening in the all-comforting, the most precious name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. We are so busy celebrating Christmas, but have you ever taken time to think about it for just a minute? In what way has my life been changed? How much happy I am? How much peace do I have in my life? How much a better person I am? Or I just live my life the same way that I have lived all these many years? We need to remember that Christ was born into this world to make our lives happy and have a real purpose in living life in this world. For our devotion this evening, let us read Luke chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. I am reading from the New International Version. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. The Lord says to you this evening in a very personal way, Do not be afraid. There's good news for each one of us. And that is Christ has been born into the world. And because He has been born into the world, we can experience the joy, the love of God and the peace of God. We are so busy with the shopping, the parties and all the busy activities that we cram into the season a part of how Christmas goes. But when everything is said and done, the only real change Christmas brings to our world is that it makes us a little poorer and more tired. The purpose of Christmas is to bring about a change in our life. When we carry out life on a day-to-day -day basis, our job, our relationships, our families, our spirituality, all that should be radically transformed by Christmas. Not transformed by the celebration of Christmas, but transformed by Christ himself. When the angels announced the birth of Christ, they said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Christmas is to be joyful. It should be something that quells our fears. Yet most of us today wouldn't say that Christmas quells our fears and gives us true joy and the peace of God. Because we have failed to love Christ to dwell in our life, therefore we miss out on the real purpose of Christmas. Christmas will change my life by allowing me to experience the genuine love that God has to offer us this evening. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love God does not know God, because God is love. Because the Lord loved us, He gave His life for each one of us. We need to remember this evening that Christ came into the world to die for sinful mankind and reconcile fallen man back to God. God became man because He loved us, so that He could show us the way to Him. Jesus becoming one of us, so that we can understand His plan, and He can tell us where to find safety, so that ultimately our lives will be blessed. We can experience the genuine love of Christ. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send a Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. God loved us so much that He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, not to condemn us, but rather to save us. What an amazing love. What a blessed privilege to know that the Almighty God, the Creator of the universe, loves us. And that love will motivate each one of us to live for Him and love one another. I can experience the perfect peace of God because He is the Prince of Peace. Peace is something that all of us need and most of us don't have it. We spend a great deal of time and energy pursuing peace but very little of us experience it. We need to remember, in this world of trouble and chaos, we can experience the peace of God. The decisions that we have made in the past often haunt us. This evening, we need to remember that Christmas is a time to experience the divine peace of God. That's the purpose. God came to this world to give us His peace. But we can experience the peace of God when our minds are stayed upon Him. The Bible says, God will keep us in perfect peace whose minds are stayed on Him. It's not only me experiencing the peace of God in my life, but I can live at peace with each other in the body of Christ. May God fill our hearts with His love and peace so that we can fulfill His purpose this Christmas time. If God can forgive me and restore me to a right relationship with Him after all I've done to violate His trust and love, if God can choose to be at peace with me, then I can choose to be at peace with others. I can learn to forgive them. I can learn to tolerate what is about them that disturbs me. And when I choose to live at peace with others, I am living a life that Christ desires me to live at this time of Christmas. Learn to forgive each other. Never bear grudge. 
but rather restore back the broken fellowship with one another. The birth of Christ at Christmas, the Son of God made flesh, the birth of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us, will change my life today. It will allow me to experience His love, provide me with everlasting peace, and give me a purpose in life. The real purpose of Christmas is my life should be changed, and this is possible when I allow Christ to be the reason for the season. Dear child of God, remember that Christ was born to make an impact in each one of our lives. Take some time to think this evening how much has the birth of Christ impacted my life. Can I reflect His divine love, His divine peace, and recognize the purpose for Christ being born into my life this evening? Live for Christ, and you can experience the divine purpose of Christ this Christmas season. Be a blessing to people, and ultimately, God will be glorified. May God bless you. May God be with you. Amen.